This is my Oliver uh, HD 300 uh, tool grinder. I got the, uh, I had several of these uh, countersinks, this 82, de 82 degree countersink in my, on my shelf over there. They're all dull. I got them used. Weren't any good. This uh, shaft, the, the shank of the thing had a flat on it. I put it, put it in the lathe, indexed it all in. Uh, I got it running within, you know, less than a thousand of an inch. Machined it down to three eighths because it was seven sixteenths with a flat, so now it's all round all the way around, so I can it won't you know interfere when you try to chuck it up on something. And this grinder is kind of neat. It's got you can angle the head over right here by unlocking a lever in the back. There's a lever back here in the back of the machine. You want to lock it, and this right now is set at just about about ten degrees. I got to make sure it's not going to hit that. Uh, you can lock this lever right here, and you can lean the head over any, any way you want to lean it over. Let me get it back to where I had it, which is about right there. Locked down. Okay, then you put your cutter in this indexing this, this head right here. This has got a ER30, uh, ER40 collet chuck in there, which is holding my uh, countersink right here. And uh, this 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 head is kind of really unique in the fact that see if I can get a, this in the, in the frame of the picture. Okay back it up just a little bit so you can see it better okay right there yeah it's it bolts to the table and you can raise the table up and down and the table back and forth this way and you got your movement the other way right here with the arm up top but the uh, this clamp right here the way this is made this clamps around this part that sticks in through here and then once that's clamped on there then you can adjust with these two knobs right here, one on each side, you can move this thing just a tiny little bit mount each way. Once you get it where you want it, you lock it down right here so it holds it all in place. Then when you get, then there's a uh, 24 spaces around here on the indexing ring. Okay, so you just count the clicks when it goes around when you grind, when you grind your cutter. And it's pretty simple to do. Let's see here once, if I can get a little closer there so you can see what I'm doing. Let me zoom in there. Oops. Let me zoom in just a little bit and see what I'm doing with my, uh, go this way, maybe you can see what's going on a little better. I'm going to go ahead and touch, I'll, I'll grind just a little bit of it so you can see how this thing works. It's got a cup wheel on there. i got to get a CD in wheel. This one here is working for now. I'm going to lock the right one up here. Simple as that. It's sharp, ready to cut. Take it out of here. Oh, she's nice and sharp. I mean, I didn't put any relief on her or nothing, but you can uh, see if I can see it, the cutting edge on there where I ground it at. But it's going to be nice and sharp. It should work fine. Yeah, I don't know why it wouldn't. But, yeah. So now I got a, another 82 degree countersink that would have to go buy a new one that's uh, all sharpened up, ready to go back to work. Cool. And it's sharp right there. The edge is sharp on it. I ground into the cutting edge with the wheel. I ground it on, on this side over here with the wheel spinning this away. So the wheel was, was coming into it, grinding into the edge of the cutting edge. So there's no, no burr left on here or nothing. So it should be nice and sharp. You know, I'm sure it is. I guess I could put a little relief on it, but I'm not going to worry about it. 
you know it's, it looks like it's going to cut just plenty good but it's pretty easy to set these things up because the head head tilts over real easy and you can change the angle of the head on here which is real, real fast to do and everything it's just a neat grinder I get a chance to pick up another one I'm gonna pick up a second one I've got two heads for this thing now but yeah a little there's a little index finger down here which grabs these little notches as you turn it I said you just count them you know turn it six clicks you got four you turn it six clicks you got six you turn it four clicks you know you see you, you're indexing on these on this project right here you get a line your cutter up when you tighten it up but yeah hey pretty slick I love it